We welcome the stage, Dave DeLuca, everybody. Give a big hand. Okay. Awesome, let's keep the energy right there. That was fantastic. Like, tell the jokes. I, oh man, you ever been talking to somebody within the first five seconds, not only do you regret it, but you start getting yourself how this person ever make it through childhood? <laughs> Curious, I was at the store a couple days ago and all I wanted was a sandwich, so I went over to the deli and I asked the guy for a BLT and he looked at me dead in the eye and said, You want lettuce on that? <laughs> a lot of you in the back are worrying me right now. A lot of, what do you think the magic ingredient is? Liverwurst? That, that's the second word in the damn name. Come on, people. How'd you not drown in the bathtub? Wait. Oh. My birthday was a few weeks ago. I turned 34. And uh, that's the right response. Uh, nah, 34 doesn't mean anything. Seriously. Like, I, I don't know why people make a big deal out of birthdays anymore. Because they don't. Like, certain birthdays are milestones. I'll give you that. Like, 16, you can drive. 18, you can vote, join the army, smoke cigarettes, buy porn. Uh, 21, it's alcohol. And then there's 25, which is my favorite. You guys know what you can do when you turn 25? Ride a car. Yeah! Come on, everybody, we're going, it hurts! Here's how I know 34 doesn't mean anything. Uh, I actually got a speeding ticket on my birthday. Yeah, messed up, right? I appreciate that. I wish the cops had been that nice. That seriously, because that, that's the one day out of the year you should get out of it. Seriously, think about it. Like, if, especially women, if you can walk around with little tiaras on your head screaming, "I'm a pretty, pretty princess," I deserve to get out of the ticket. Because that, and I tried too. Like the cop, he came up to my car, he asked my license, I handed it to him, he said, "Where are you going so fast?" I handed my license, like birthday party. That didn't work. <laughs> Went to his car, came back ten minutes later, handed my license and a ticket and said, Happy birthday. Oh. You're a dick. <laughs> and I was pissed too, and I wanted to vent about it. So I called up a friend of mine and uh, I got his voice on I left a message. I was like, hey Mike, it's Dave. Uh, I just got a speeding ticket, give me a call back. Two hours went by and he sent me a text message saying, slow down. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Hindsight. Where, where were you two hours ago? I could have used you then. Uh, here's what I figured out, though. I'm going to get even with him. If I ever get a message from him, voicemail, email, text, anything, and he's freaking out because his girlfriend might be pregnant, I'm going to wait a couple hours and send him a text message back saying, pull out. <laughs> I like that a couple of you are applauding. I feel like some of you might be explaining it to your friends. <laughs> I, <laughs> Mother's Day was uh, um, uh, this Sunday. Anybody here uh, have kids by round of applause? Awesome. <laughs> Anybody not sure? <laughs> God, I hope that's a guy clapping. But <laughs> I don't know if it's mine. I, now, if you do have kids, please do everybody a favor. Hit them. <laughs> Seriously, like none of this timeout crap. I'm sorry, the timeout, we need to stop. White people, come on, it's time to apologize to the rest of the world. We messed up with the timeout. Seriously, it does nothing. Uh, think about it, you look at your kid, timeout, go to your room. Fine, I've got an Xbox, a 42 inch flat screen, an iMac, an iPad, an iPod, an iPod. I'm gonna go tweet about what a dick you are. Uh, <laughs> If you want to punish a kid nowadays, here's what you do. Just take him in the park, drop him off, give him a glove and a ball, and say, figure it out. <laughs> we, are, we are just, we're so overprotective, it's ridiculous. Mark mentioned the uh, Time Magazine cover. That, you guys all saw that, right? Like, was anybody, did anybody think that kid was three? The kid looked, like, think of his mother looked like it was ten years there's no way the kid should still be breastfeeding. You should be eating the steak. You don't forget eating the steak. It should be grilling the steak, cutting it up, shaving it a week. What the hell? That, that was not a three-year-old. That thing was huge. I've never seen a kid that big. Ah, uh, no, he's eating it. There's no, you can't even call him in at that point. He doesn't have a growth imbalance. He was, ah! Like, he could play linebacker for the Niners. What the hell? But we are just so overprotective, it's ridiculous. Do you realize that they no longer keep score in children's sports because they don't want the loser's feelings to get hurt? <laughs> that needs to be a requirement. How else do you teach these little bastards, hey, you suck at this. Maybe you should try math. <laughs> they 
Did you dodgeball out of the school? It's a huge mistake. We need dodgeball. How else are you going to teach the fat kids? You know. The reason you keep going out first is because you're an easy target. Oh, screw you, I was the fat kid. All right, I'm going to finish this joke, but just so you all know, I used to be about 90 pounds heavier than I am right now. Then one day I decided I don't like to sweat when I make a sandwich. So here I am. I don't know if you're applauding me because of the accomplishment or because now you do me. That would be... Either way, I'll take it. A right. couple ladies over there, I'll talk to you after the show. Right. We used to have a game when I was a kid where the sole purpose was just beat the, beat the crap out of each other. I'm not going to tell you the name, I'll give you a quick description. When you know it, feel free to shout it out. Uh, 20 kids, one ball. That was quick. <laughs> That is a man who's had his ass handed to him on many occasions. Was, he, was, he was just proud of oh, all in the queer. That was me. Yeah. It was, though. Smear the queer. It was the... Sorry, I'm talking. Shush. I, apparently she doesn't know how amplification works. But, but no, it was. Greatest game ever. 20 kids, one ball. One person would grab the ball, run like hell. The other 19 would track him down, beat the living crap out of him. Someone would take the ball, and then the game would go on. Beautiful. Now we live in this hypersensitive PC world where not only can you not play the game, you can't even call it that anymore. If you want to call it something, you have to call it detain the one who chooses an alternative lifestyle. <laughs> and that doesn't even rhyme. 